Hello, this is Russ Anderson with a simple tutorial on how to extend an automatic tracker. So here's a existing track scene and I picked out one particular tracker and you can see that it's valid during part of the shot but not for the rest of it. And that's just due to some of the details of how the automatic tracker works and uh, what's happened in the particular set of scenes. Now if you're doing a supervised track often you can do better. So the question is how can we take this existing automatic track and make it into a supervised tracker that's longer. And that's often useful if we need to get a high set of accuracy for a particular tracker because we're going to use it as a part of the coordinate system setup or to maintain the accuracy of a long shot that has a lot of things coming and going, maybe some things that are wiping across part of the image. And whenever you have something that's visible throughout the entire length of a shot or a good portion of it, that lets Synthize get a more accurate solve for the entire shot. So let's start off by doing a Shift 5. And that is going to tell the camera view that we want to have it follow the 3D position of the tracker. So you can see it stays centered on that location even as I go past the part of the shot that's actually valid for that tracker. So let's start out by unlocking this tracker. We have a lot of room here at the front that we could extend it to. So let's go to the beginning of that and we'll go to the frame right before the beginning of the shot. And now we'll start making some adjustments to it. First we're going to turn the tracker on and we're going to also change the type of it to a match type tracker. Now nothing has really happened yet because the tracker is still set up to track in the usual forward direction. So to track towards the beginning we want to change the direction of the tracker to uh, be on. And we need to change it back on the automatic thing just turn it off. So uh, now we're re uh, almost ready to go. Uh, let's take a look at a couple other uh, parameters here. Because we're doing a pattern type track, we want to have it creating new keys as it goes along. And let's uh, blend those uh, patterns together as we're working our way through the shot. And one of the nice things that we're going to take advantage of here is a new feature called Search from Solved, which means that the automatic tracker is going to start looking for the object, the feature, at the location that it was solved to be at, you know, at the, uh, the location of the 3D uh, mark here in the scene. So actually that lets us cut down the search size if we wanted quite a lot, because it already has, has a really good look, uh, idea of where the tracker is going to be. So that'll help the, the track run faster, perhaps if your machine is slower, or uh, also, it just means that there's less chance of the supervised tracker finding something else that looks just the same that's within the search region if the search region is, is kind of large. So we can just start uh, moving through the scene. And you'll see here we have uh, new keys being generated. And maybe we want to just take an eye on that. Maybe we'll adjust them a little. So we can just... Uh, run through the shot and I'm just using the uh, middle scroll wheel on the mouse to do that so we're out to the beginning of the shot and we'll just put another key there for good measure so uh, there's our entire uh, tracker extended to the beginning I could lock it back up or you know if we wanted to go to the end we just uh, flip the direction of it back around and start uh, repeating the process in the other direction. And you'll notice that as the whole shot goes kind of edge on, we start needing to drop in some more keys. The uh, lighting's going all over the place also. So, you know, we can only pull a, a couple additional frames out on this side of the tracker, and uh, then we'll just flip it back off and we can lock it back up. So now we have a uh, adjusted version of this track that goes through the entire shot 
pretty much. And we could go and refine our solve to uh, update the location of the, you know, the calculated 3D location of the shot. Now, one other thing we can do if we wanted would be to go and go all the rest of the way and fine tune this tracker. Now, if you look up here, this is from the automatic track. There's there are keys on every frame. So uh, I can go to the fine tuning panel, just tell it to run on this particular tracker, and it's going to go and re track the tracker in that area. And now you see we just have the smaller number of keys that's typical of a supervised tracker. So yeah, we could go and play around and, and adjust it further as we uh, might see fit. So that's some uh, interesting things to do with an automatic tracker, taking advantage of uh, the supervised tracking capabilities. Hope you enjoy it.